stream. Isam making a return to the stage. Okay, okay. Uh, so we're gonna get some Pikachu versus, I suspect, Fox. I know Mega Fox is uh, a Texas player. Yeah. And he made Fox in Smash 4. I have yet to see uh, what he can do in this game or what characters he even uses. But, uh, Mega Fox, I mean. His name is Mega Fox. Yeah. So I would hope he plays Fox. <laughs> I don't know, though. Come on, man. We've all been deceived. <laughs> Yeah. By, uh, by the tag We got before, people like right? Yoshi Freak meaning uh, Game I Watch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I played a guy named Sonic Fanatic in Smash 4. <laughs> Dude whipped out Bale on me. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this? I mean, at that point, Bale. Like, you, you, you don't know who, who's. Everyone's got the Bale on this. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. So, Mega Fox, uh, yeah, haven't seen him in quite a while, but uh, good to see him back. Yeah. He's making quite the trek, and we'll see what he can do against Esam. Somebody who, well, never really left. <laughs> yeah, Mega Fox is one of those players who's like really, really good and, and actually has like a lot of potential, but you yeah. didn't really see him like travel too much. So he kind of stayed at home. He's one of those in house guys, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Really dominant in the region. Yeah, you kind of wonder. Texas, man? Yeah, you kind of <laughs> wonder what could have happened if they were able to leave. Honestly, for Texas, like so back in Brawl was like G Ness and, and yeah. Ultimate Razor and Dojo were the guys who really just kind of carried that region. Yeah. Ultimate uh, Razor's left. actually here today, too. So. Is Razor here? Yeah, Isn't yeah, he like Grim Turtle now or something? I think he still goes by Ultimate Oh, Razor, is he back yeah. to Razor? Because Grim Turtle was a horrible name. We'll find out later, guys, because <laughs> we got this match underway. So Mega Fox going with the Fox. Obviously, uh, advantage here, Pikachu, for sure. But Fox, is, I mean, because he's a hard hitter. He can really string together uh, some big-time moves. And the thing for me is Esam is just so well-versed in this matchup. We've seen him do for sure. crazy matchups and battles with light. So you know matchup experience isn't going to be a thing. So for me, I'm wondering how Mega Fox is going to handle Pikachu at this level. And so far, he's doing a great job. Even percents right here, he is off stage. Um, he's using his shine to like delay his recoveries back onto the stage and also knowing when Esam is below him that there's a possible threat for the drag down thunder. Sure. So really, really great awareness from him at the very least. Oh, uh, okay, dipping low, gonna avoid that forward smash. That's the right decision, but Esam had that perfect spot and easy coverage, man. You'll rarely see him drop an edge guard situation like that. So this is the make or break moment right here because I mean that it was even up until this point, but now with Esam in the lead, up a stock, he's starting to build up that, that percent again, 38 already. It's gonna be a fast forward's worst nightmare. Yeah, half the stock already depleted. Mega Fox yet to find an answer to Esam's first. Oh man. Okay, dipping low again. Great angle right there. Uh, didn't go straight up. If he had gone straight up, that down air surely would have spelled his fate. This is tough for Mega Fox. Ooh, oh, is that another one? Lord yes, it mercy. is. 130 Esam still living on his first life. Mega Fox versus base Pikachu. Ooh, that's a that's a kind of shame. <laughs> that's a, that, but that that could be the disparity. Oh, We're just right, seeing the disparity Esam. in right. this matchup. <laughs> it's tough. Esam trying to go for some custom combos now. He's got. I mean, he's got two stocks to play with. Why not? Oh, what's the punish? All right, I like that. Didn't get too much off of it, but uh, this is like a strong. Hitbox that stays out for a while. Definitely. So. Safe punish. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, Ooh. good Ooh. connection. Esam, I mean, he just routinely knows exactly where Mega Fox is trying to go. He puts you in these situations where you have to escape, and he's just like, I know your routes. I'm already there at the pass, cutting you off. No knock against Mega Fox. He's a tremendous player, but right now he has found little to no success on Esam. So he is able to get that first stock off, but man, as you would say, what cost? Yeah, 101% <laughs> already you know? Mega Fox. Already on his last life, that down smash is incredibly powerful. Didn't kill, but put him in a really bad spot. Ooh. Yeah, that's tough. That's uh, tough. And, and you can see what Megafax was trying to go for again, trying to get that slight angle yeah. into the side of the stage so that he could climb up the wall trying and avoid, avoid the down air. Yeah, right there was a very impactful in how he took that first stock. So obviously not trying to have a repeat, but unfortunately gave it away himself. So Esam looking poised to maybe take this 2-0. Stop looking at me. Right? <laughs> he, looks comfortable. he knows I'm talking about him. <laughs> He's going to listen to it back. He's going to say some good stuff. I got you, bro. I got you. Absolutely. Let's see if Mega Fox can bring it back, though, in this game number two. We're going to go to final destination. Um, interesting. I mean, it's it pretty much if you played on final destination for the first game, it's yeah. just like, you know, with the, with minus the transitions where you have platforms on Town City. But, uh... Yeah, he did. It looks like Mega Fox just doesn't want platforms at all. Yeah, like I said, I mean, this is, you know, you're not, platforms are not, you're not going to catch Sam off guard too many times right. with anything you're throwing out with Fox because, you know, the experience is just there against some of the best Foxes in the world. But not a bad start at all yeah, for Mega Fox. I mean, certainly a, a far cry from what we saw in that first game. That's how ugly that thing could have got. 
very similar start to last game, in fact. Even percent here, and Isam applying so much aggression off stage. That's this really scary plot. After all, we saw uh, him deplete two of Mega Fox's stocks off stage yep. with the edge guards. That's the main downfall, Ooh. but finally, sign of That's life big. for Mega Fox here, getting that up smash and a, still a relatively even stock, although that might not matter. As we mentioned already, yeah. the edge guarding portion of this is where it's really scary. If like can just throw him off, get an edge guard, gimp that fox. Oh my god, okay. Mega Fox is really turning up now. Bruh, Mega Fox with the immediate response. I say he had to bring something different Ooh. to the table. He's Ooh. definitely catching Esam off guard. This has been fantastic. You gotta imagine, this is what you're looking at for out of a counter pick. You know what I'm saying? That yes. first game, you know, when Esam got the stock, he was at 172, oh. but he just completely went on a tear after that. We see that dare come through, able to drop that stock, but 96%. Yeah, Got to play this one close to the chest. Mega Fox thought he was safe, get, like thought he was smooth with that directional air dodge towards the ledge, but still a lot of vulnerability there for him. Oh, and Mega Fox actually taking that up to smash uh, another stock here. He's still moving up. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh -oh. Nice. Right, looking for the follow-ups, but the response from Mega Fox has been there. Edmund, there I say, we might be on the, the verge of a game oh, number game three. three. Yeah, man, I feel like we, have, haven't, we haven't seen one of those in a while since we started commentating. It's been a couple of whoopings so yeah. far, man, but this one, this is a retaliation. You said, you know what? Oh! You said, you know what? Man, I'm taking the belt back Hello. and putting it across your skull. Absolutely. And that's going to leave a mark right there. Game number three. Straight up. Woo. Right, so it looked like that Final Destination pick was, in fact, worthwhile for Mega Fox, and I mean, more so than that, it just looked like he made the adjustments he needed to make, put Isam in the positions he needed to be to get those stocks. And now we're here in game number three, Isam's counter pick advantage. So let's see where he took him and how this game will fare. See, I think the problem was the first game he was just playing as Fox. The yeah. second game he put the Mega on, okay? Oh, yeah. Now we're going to see if he can beat the closer and what... And uh, pull what I would definitely consider an upset here at Prime Saga. Oh, yeah, no but, doubt about that. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, Esam got to be favored going into this, but you know what? That does not dictate how this one will pan out. Mega Fox, all the momentum in the world, and it looks like he's continuing to build upon that, putting the screws to Esam early. Okay. Esam applying some pressure here on this platform. Um, both players kind of spacing safely across the, the shield and Esam like going up for a lot more just neutral air out of shield options. Uh, seems to be like his safest bet to go unpunished, whereas yep. before he was going for like more aggressive options that would lead to more combos and more percentage. But now that he's like, ha he has to put a little bit of more respect on Mega Fox. That he does, man. He's definitely putting some more percent, that is for sure. At 91, Ooh. what a catch from Mega Fox. Love the fact that he reacted so well to that. Oh, Great anticipation, man. but Esam sealing out the stock almost unexpectedly. That yeah. kind of, that's yeah. kind of well, fleeting a lot quicker than I thought. That roll in was a little bit like off from Mega Fox as well. I feel I mean, like, yeah. He, he had the space to kind of like either dash back. Oh, or oh. great stall with the shine. Yes. And honestly, he still took percent, but he put Ooh. himself in a position where he wasn't going to get there. Yes. And that's all he want to do, just preserving the stock. Mega Fox down on his second stock already, about to be lapped in percent here by Esam. Uh, Esam content to just shoot back the Thunder Jolts, which is something like in the earlier sets that we saw with Esam on stream that he wasn't really doing because yeah. he was just so comfortable. But now knowing like how what Mega Fox can do, he's like, okay, I, I gotta <laughs> sit back and just like you know take my safe damage and find an approach well, and, and, and rather it, than forcing. And one. it has another benefit too, like you're just frustrating Mega Fox, right. who's already trailing. A considerable amount so you're gonna catch him coming in maybe making a, a mistake Woo! by being too aggressive but speaking of Just aggression like man there's Esam's leading to his downfall he up smash out of shield but I mean at 134 you gotta imagine this stock's on borrowed time absolutely back air not gonna be enough to do it but really putting Mega Fox in a bad position here oh man would have loved to see that extend to a little bit more damage uh, but forward air from the ledge was really great for Mega Fox oh, okay, okay. We're oh picking wow it up. What a string there, oh, okay. Mega Fox. This might be even game right here. Oh, no. <laughs> really? Oh, Not man. Not anymore. I'm sorry. That's I'm tough. sorry. <laughs> that's tough, man. I don't mean to laugh, but that's tough. <laughs> that was like the most lackadaisical hit. <laughs> Just the very tip of the tail. I mean, as far as I know, yeah. that, that doesn't have any, any like tipper hit or anything. So it's like, all right, that killed. <laughs> that's, the, that's the crazy thing. It didn't need it, right? Yeah. So, all right. It works out well for Esam. If you've seen Mega Fox be able to, out of nowhere, just... Spark his offense, gonna need to find a closing blow. And 
just like that, we'll have ourselves a game. Nice. Yeah, the empty jump into the grab. Tossing Isam back Ooh. on stage. He got caught off guard by the Thunder this time. Yeah, Isam hadn't done that a couple times, yeah. so maybe he wasn't prepared for that. A little bit of late game conditioning perk working out for Isam. All right, we're starting to see a lot more defensive Ooh. options coming out from Mega Fox, but an aggressive up smash right there will put him back in the game. Uh. We're down to our last stock now. I'm game set. number three. P possible upset, but Esam still well in the lead. Definitely an upset looming here, but Esam, you know, as you said, in the lead, in a fantastic position. But Mega Fox, little by little, hit by hit, chipping into that deficit. Okay, the up air into the forward air. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I like that. Now we get back. Oh, that thunder was actually really smart because it forced uh, Mega Fox into the position where he had to up B like that and possibly get that forward smash punish. Oh no. Dude, this, may, this may be kill percentage for Esam right now. Bro, this is starting to get a little antsy. This is tremendously oh, scary. Uh-oh. And he's hitting, he's hitting that oh, shield. Man. The nerves are starting to rack up. I think Esam is starting to get a little bit nervous. Mega Fox, no quick in this oh, man, but that's attack. Barely gets it through. My goodness. A little bit of a fist bump action. And absolutely no emotion coming out from Mega, Mega Fox. Fox has always been very stoic. Completely sto stoic. He's yeah. always been very stoic. This is a guy who doesn't show any emotions whether he wins or loses. Uh, I'm sure he's kind of, I'm sure he's upset about that, you yeah, know, just because given the fact he was so that close. he made, he mounted such a tremendous comeback, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He really started to get it going, but he's saying that clutch factor is real, man. I'll give him that. Yeah, I mean, it came down to the fact that, like, he he was outplaying Esam on that last yeah. talk, on the last, like, the latter half of that last talk, he was outplaying Esam entirely, but it just came down to the fact that Megafax already had so much percentage on him. And Esam, all he had to do was punish with that dash attack. And that honestly might have been the first dash attack kill we yes. saw in that set, in I that believe. Set so, sure. you know, for that to be the option, like, Esam kind of had a couple tricks stored up, I feel like. Again, yeah. the uh, the thunder at the ledge, when, you know, when he's below, when he had used that a couple times recovering, I think that might have caught him off guard. And then the fact, again, the dash attack came out of nowhere. That was smart. Mega Fox, though, was definitely putting the screws to him, man. That, sure. That's one of those matches you get excited about because you really, it gets down to a while, you don't know how it's going to go. So. Yeah, totally right. E. And, I mean, it, it, that's a mark of a great player as well. Esam saving those trump cards Easily. for the right scenarios uh, was able to secure that win for him in a really really close game three and we're gonna get MK Leo now on the stream versus Zael 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 okay I think I don't know I like that's his just, hair that's how cool. I would pronounce it this man like he should have walked onto the stage with a dual disc <laughs> all right look at that look at that dude yeah, he's also got a pretty dope hoodie man with the, the place